Hi everyone, it's Sandra, and today I am here to film, to film, obviously I'm here to film. I'm here to show you some things that I purchased recently. I haven't done a haul video in a while, but I have been picking up a few things here and there. And then Shoppers Drug Mart had a, um, a, an event where if you redeem your optimum points, like the reward, that's like the reward system that they have. If you redeem your reward points on beauty products, you basically, you get more money off um, for the points. So I definitely took advantage of that. And uh, actually most of the makeup that I'm going to show you in this video have has been just purchased with my rewards points. I ended up having like $200 off, which is amazing. So I definitely took advantage of that and I'm really excited to show you what I got. Some body products first that I actually picked up from Lush. I'm almost out of my L'Occitane shower gel that I use and I kind of was in the mood to try something new. And uh, I was suckered in by these two products. And they both smell like roses, so I was really excited. I thought it would be a nice Valentine's, Valentine's Day present to myself since I am my own Valentine this year. So I bought a shower smoothie uh, in the scent, Turkish Delight. This is what um, the packaging looks like. And I did get to use this a couple of times, so it's just this very thick whipped texture and it smells really really nice. It's a very soapy, uh, um, very soapy light rose scent, but it's very very clean and what this is is instead of a shower, it's like a shower cream I guess. It doesn't make a very foamy lather, but it does get thicker as you apply, uh, as you mix it with water and uh, it just rinses very, very clean, leaves, it leaves you feeling very clean and fresh, and it leaves the skin feeling very soft. And after that, I purchased um, Rose Argan Body Conditioner. The philosophy behind this is same as a hair conditioner. You just kind of apply it after you wash yourself in the shower, you apply it on wet skin, you kind of massage it in, then you rinse it off. It leaves the skin so, so soft, and the scent of this lingers on for like a day afterwards. You can't really put my finger on it I like exactly how this smells there's definitely some rose in here as well um, but it's a very very sweet scent very very nice for for this time of year I find it's a very warm sweet scent what's cool about this is that it leaves my skin feeling so soft and smooth I don't have to apply lotion afterwards and I'm a very lazy person when it comes to body um, like body moisturization I know some people are very good about it and they moisturize their bodies every night I always tend to forget that step. I usually just shower and uh, I call it a day. I try to just buy very moisturizing shower uh, shower gels and shower products so I kind of can get away with that um, without applying body moisturizer. So this is awesome. Um, my skin hasn't felt this soft in a very long time and uh, I highly recommend this product. I've just spent a lot of time rambling about those two products so um, I guess I kind of gave you a mini review. but. Um, these other products, most, most of them that I'm going to show you I haven't used yet so I can't really um, blab too much about them. Um, but I did get some nail polish and I guess I'll start with the nail polish that I happen to be wearing today and it's by Sally Hansen. Now I'm not sure if it's part of any collection or anything but um, I just saw it on the display and I really like the color. The color is called Without a Stitch. It's just a very beautiful beige, um, warm beige color and I, I've been looking for a color like this for a while. This is with two coats, and I've actually had this nail polish on for about five days, and there are no chips in sight, so very happy about that. Um, the other nail polish I picked up is by Dior. It's from their Spring 2013 collection. The color is called, uh, I'm not gonna agree, Trian, Trianin or something, number 306. This is what the color looks like. It's just a very beautiful, light, gray color. Um, some more stuff from Dior. I picked up, um, and I've actually used this a couple times so I don't have the box anymore, Addict um, lipsticks and I got it in the color number 222 Beige Casual and it's a beautiful beigey peach color. Very very sheer but extremely extremely glossy and last time I wore it actually some guy asked me if I had lip injections which I guess it's um, I 
I think it's a good thing if you wear lipstick and somebody asks you if you have lip injections um, I think that's pretty cool and also don't mind the fake tanning streaks on my hand I haven't fake tanned in months and um, I thought I would give it a try yesterday so I used the Saint Tropez mousse all over it didn't really do a good job on the backs of my hands but this is the color beige casual I highly recommend it it's just a very easy to wear color goes with a ton of different uh, ton of different makeup looks and it feels very nice when you put it on. This lip liner, and this is the shade number um, 433, and it's called Earth. My friend Vanessa, uh, the bombshell sweet here on YouTube, she talks about this lip liner all the time, so I figured I would buy it and give it a try. This is what it looks like. It's just a beautiful, warm, kind of terracotta brown color. And uh, some other stuff. Uh, another thing that I got from Dior is a, an eyeliner. I really liked it when I swatched it on my hand and it's the Dior waterproof eyeliner uh, eyeliner pencil and it's in shade number 594 which is a very dark brown and I don't own any brown eyeliner believe it or not I don't have anything super super dark brown and that is what this is and I love the way this glides on it glides on without feeling creamy which is nice because sometimes you don't really want a creamy smudgy mess all over your eyes Another thing that I got that is super, super exciting, my first foray into Guer Guerlain Cosmetics. I've never owned anything by this brand and ended, ended up getting two things. The first is this foundation. This is the Guerlain Lingerie Depot Foundation. I got it in shade number 02. And this, I've been wanting this foundation for over a year. This is what the packaging looks like. Obviously, I'm gonna have to use it a few more times. Uh, this was a really, really good color match for me, so I was excited. So. That was that. The other thing from Guerlain that I purchased, I've also been wanting, and it's one of their eyeshadow quads, and the shade is number 06 Le Fume. This is just, this is the most me eyeshadow palette ever. So these are the Guerlain eyeshadows swatched. Um, we have the matte shades, a very dark, uh, dark, dark brown, with a little bit of hint of a purple. Then we have this color, which is kind of similar to Urban Decay Tees, which is one of my favorite crease colors, so I'm excited about this. Then there's this beautiful satin, dark, dark, taupey shade, and uh, this very metallic silver color. I don't really hear a lot of people talk about the Guerlain eyeshadow palettes, and I'm not really sure why, because I think they are far superior um, in quality uh, than the Chanel quads and everybody seems to love the Chanel quads but these are really really good so definitely check them out if you are in the mood for a uh, for some new eyeshadow I think this is absolutely stunning and I'm so so excited to start wearing it and the other two things that I purchased again are things that I've been wanting for a long time um, the Lancome art liner in black it seems to be everybody's favorite liquid eyeliner then the last thing is another one of these Clarins uh, Ombre Mineral eyeshadows. I have the one in shade number 02 Nude and I love it. I, I use it almost every day as a base. And I've had my eye on this one. This sh is shade number 08 and it's called Taupe um, because obviously I am a taupe topeaholic. I love taupe eyeshadows and uh, I can't really ever get enough of them. So this is the packaging of it. It's beautiful and... This is the color. It kind of looks like it could belong in the Guerlain eyeshadow palette that I just showed you, but this is a closer look. It's just a gorgeous satin finish taupe color. I'm going to try to blend it out on the back of my hand so you see how it looks. But it's a beautiful, beautiful taupe. It blends out like a dream. It's not too purpley and it's not too gray. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, kind of in the middle, neutral taupe shade. So that's it for my haul video. This is probably the, the most stuff I've ever shown at one time. As always, just let me know in the comments below if there's any product in particular that you'd like me to go more in depth on. If you want, uh, if you want me to show it in a tutorial or a face of the date post or anything like that, just let me know. So I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.